What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. Let's just get this out the way right Right now, last week we talked about the Hall of Fame. We talked about we got uh, Paul Heyman, uh, we got Bull before I mess Bull Nakano. Nakano. Bull Nakano. Okay, and we got the U.S. Express in there. Well, now it was funny. We were talking about this last week, and now it actually did happen because we got two more names that that was added to the Hall of Fame. We got the goat himself, Muhammad Ali, who I said should have been a Hall of Famer. Back like damn near twenty years ago when they when they first brought the Hall of Fame back, he should have been up in there. You did call it on the last podcast. Yeah, I said he should. How Ali should have been in there? I know there could have been some issues with the family stuff like that. But now I sh- I should have known something was up when they included him in the new W two K twenty four game, and not even as a I had to pay for him. It wasn't a pre order. He was just in the base game, and actually kind of fun to play with. I was like that. I, I wait, nobody saw this coming. It wasn't a part of the WrestleMania showcase or nothing. And I was like, I should have known something was going to be like that because it's like, okay, we can finally put him into the Hall of Fame, which is much deserved. Much deserved. Yep. And also, another name that we got in there is also T Bolt Thunderbolt Patterson, who, when, when, uh, Q Flow announced that name. I was excited for it because I am aware of who Thunderbolt Patterson is, mm-hmm. especially in them NWA days and things like that. And I, I, I knew that uh, my buddies and friends was not going to, especially Prime's dickhead ass sometimes, hey, yo. was not going to understand who, who that was. But uh, definitely, I'm glad to see him get, get his flowers. And he's still alive. Oh, he is. He is still alive. Good for him. I, co- I, 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 I had to fact check though because the, and it ain't about to lie because Prime just said so forgive me Lord Prime, Prime talking just, about he missing limbs he said I don't know how you gonna get his award because he's missing all his limbs and you talk about me with what I said right no, before no, we started no, no. no that's crazy uh so uh like I said I don't know um how many limbs he missing but um, okay. I'm not going to see. I got to Y'all not got a dark sense of humor, so I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. I see it blowing up her brain. She could probably say some ignorant shit like you know they probably had to carry like you know. <laughs> no, because that's not what I was gonna say, but I'm still keeping it to myself. Okay. Let's sit on my hands. So first off, it goes without saying about Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah. Okay, but also for those who don't know, I know about him and his wrestling history, and he was a special enforcer for. Hogan and Mr. T Jesus. and Paul Lorndorf and uh, Roddy Piper the first the, the, the tag team mat, main event match at WrestleMania the first one which about to, we're going to get a better tag team match on night one when we go to WrestleMania 40 Jesus Christ but yeah he was he was at that, that first WrestleMania and also he was part of that whole <coughs> um pro, uh special promotion he, he, he did with um Antonio Inoki I, I believe it was Antonio Inoki or Kill- Antonio Inoki when he did the whole Boxing versus wrestling type thing, uh-huh. and also he he uh had a moment with with, with uh Gorilla Monsoon also. I remember when uh Gorilla Monsoon picked him up and like spin the one show or something like that. And he was a a great professional when it came to the wrestling, you know, <laughs> as, as he called it. And it kind of reminded me of Floyd Mayweather. Somebody who I'm about to say he walked so Floyd Mayweather could run breaking Big Show's nose. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I, I like that kind of stuff, you know, when you got people with different sports that can respect the other sport, mm-hmm. respect the things that they do, and sit there. And, and no, it's not the same skill set. Exactly. So, and on the Mac, I was just like, well, how am I going to leave shit? Well, shit, we, could Mike Tyson's in there now, you know, say for doing the hard DX chops. Bruh. I was like, your pelvis hurts. Yeah, you know say, <laughs> but I'm like, you, you got Iron Mike. Come on, we got to put Muhammad Ali up in here also. So, mm-hmm. uh, great selection. Now, when it comes to, when it comes to the Thunderbolt Patterson, let me tell you something, y'all. For those out there don't know, are you, are you listening to me, Q, in the back of the room? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm here. I'm uh, here. <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson walks so Dusty can run. Dusty, mm. Dusty Rose, not me, 
Not Q Flow, not Lil Not crying, Cody. Yeah, no. Cr- Yo, we gonna leave Cody alone, right? Listen, you know I'm. I be. I be with it. It's just funny right now. But I'll tell you something. He said that there would w- there would be no Dusty Rose without Thunderbolt Patterson. If you go back and look at Thunderbolt, first of all, I'm gonna t- tell you this right now. Thunderbolt Patterson is shit in the ring. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just I'm, I'm gonna show that right now. I had no idea. It, he no. wasn't a great in ring worker. He was a talker. Oh, okay. Personality. If you go back and watch Thunderbolt Patterson's promos, even in the country, people say like, "Damn, all I hear is Dusty." Because that's what Dusty got the swag from. Mm. Dusty, I think you may appreciate this analysis, but D- D- Dusty was like Drake and Fonte. Oh. Where it's just like, oh. I look at I look at Fonte. I mean, early. You mean early? Early, early, early Drake. Before, I look at Fonte. I, I like that swag. Before he was a fake bounce artist or a fake Jamaican. Exactly. <laughs> Combination. So you had to bring it up. You ain't had to bring all that up. So, no, I did. I did. I did. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But he took it and it was like, okay, and I'm doing it. Then Drake just got huge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the same thing that happened. Similar with Dusty Rose, and he just he, he took he took he he, he, he took he, it and ran. He he uh he was inspired by the style. Yeah. Because because it, it, it like he, people brought up to say he was like, I don't know what y'all talking about. He he said, yeah. This is where I got this from. A just took it to a whole nother level. You could have said Michael Jackson in the backslide. That would have been more relatable to you. Hold on now. I like hip hop also. I didn't say you did. And I'm just saying, you know, saying I, I like that. I like that early Drake stuff. You do. Okay, so I, I'm about That's to fair. say that, and I'm about to say if I said say bring Jeffrey Downs, you know, I would have heard this. Listen. Nothing. Just like people <laughs> saying the same thing about Thunder Pope Patterson. Yeah, but, there are tons of people who don't know, including myself, who don't know who he is. Yeah, no, but I, I, I stopped trying try to give a little back. So what he had, he like, he had to say like, if, when you hear him talk, it's like, God, that I can see where Dusty got all that stuff from, right? And he would have a thing where it's like he was about to curse, and he'd be like, Oh, I want to kick you, know? Oh, you about to make me? Yeah, so I want to shoot you so bad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sorry. I... He he had he had the style to him like he was he was not going to be known as a very good worker. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that hit the hall that ain't a good worker. But when wrestling's not always just about the work, also. But when you can, uh, the things you can do with your personality, you know, your promo skills and things like that, that's the kind of things that the Bull Patterson was uh, known for. And uh, he, he teamed up, uh, I know he teamed up with Ole Anderson for a long time, also teamed up with Ernie Ladd mm-hmm. as well. And I just remember, like, I watch. Um, a lot of those old wrestling, like, I just love hearing the history of things. That's why I love documentaries so much. Yeah. And they had a roundtable discussion uh, called Legends of Wrestling that I did show you at one point. Yeah. Uh, of different things. And you just get the old wrestling legends. Because that's kind of like what, what Vice TV is doing right now when it calls Tales from the Territories. Mm-hmm. It's kind of similar to the same thing. Or what they're trying to do on a- A&E when it comes to WWE. The Legends. The uh, Rivalries. The rivals. Yeah, the, the rivals. Yeah, that's more of a round table type of discussion. I like watching those kind of things. You get some insight that you know about. And when they was doing the soul of wrestling, when they talk about the black wrestlers, they had uh, Teddy Long on there. It's always some Tony song. Atlas, uh um Dusty Rose, Bill Watts, and uh God, I can't remember. JR, because he's the host at that time. That's just so hilarious that it's the soul. First of all, it's always some soul something. Yeah. Blacks, throw the soul on it. But then, <laughs> all the blacks and Dusty. <laughs> like, what? See, uh, this is this the problem now. That's why we got Cody uh, Hotep memes. <laughs> exactly, exactly why. And, uh, and, Cody Johnson? Cody Dwayne Johnson? Yo, please. <laughs> but uh, it, th- there was this funny uh, shoot interview that Tony Atlas did when he, was about to do, uh, when he was talking about, do you remember any backstage fights that the guy was asking him about? He said he remembered the one time that they was down in Mid South Wrestling, and uh, there was this this racist wrestler that was there, and that uh, Bill Watts was the promoter at the time, and, and uh, they Tony Ellison and, and Tebow had a problem with uh, with this wrestler, and mm-hmm. they was 
going to fight in the back. And I think, I think Tony Addison, Dusty Rose was on like the one side, and this other guy, they was going to fight. I think Dusty was trying to either break it up. I can't, I can't remember that part of the story. Bill Watt said, hey, look, y'all going to fight this one time because we ain't going to do this. We ain't going to do this again. Oh, Lord. And then, <laughs> apparently, going by what Tony Addison is saying, is that when T, when Dunable Paris came out, he came out the shower. He had his towel, he had his towel on. And then he came, knocked Bo out, and then read him a Bible verse. Cause what? <laughs> he said, did, he, did, did he also did he also throw his hat across the room too and, and shot? Yo, <laughs> we got to chill, bro. Tony ass had that Jerry girl. Probably throw a woman shoe across the room, but he ain't gonna hold head. <laughs> He's not throwing that shoe. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Crazy. I'm gonna find a woman to put this on my face. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, so two. I think well, this is, I, I I can t- I, you can I can automatically tell the difference of how this Hall of Fame is you know is being both of who's being chosen for it opposed to other years. Mm-hmm. I can tell who has a good influence on. Look at all the minorities. <laughs> did you did you hear about the rule though that, that they said it's Vince's rule? What's Vince's rule? That they said they're keeping the tradition is he wants to. Oh uh, yeah, one person one of color, black and one uh, one woman, pop, one woman. Oh yeah, I mean, I I thought that was the formula, one black, one woman, maybe another yes, minority. What I'm saying, like a tag what they team. Saying, a tag like, team. They're gonna keep it. They saying they're gonna keep it going. As in, like they're gonna like keep it a thing, and just add it on to it. Like they might do all minorities or something. You know, something like that. I don't see what the problem is. It's been like that forever. No, I don't see the problem. You know, I'm just saying. People like you know, you can do more than one black. Yeah, what, what? No, you can do, you do more, more than one. Oh, yeah, yeah, any cool. minority. Yeah, but I, I think that that seems yes. to be the that's always been the way it was. Yeah, well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure Twitch just said, "Don't worry, I got you." Oh my god! Now I still now, like I said, now after after we get them names, is that why we can't have Batista? <laughs> what you mean, Batista's black? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see straight, that man coming in that all white suit? That man is a straight urban. With the chip, with the work. Yeah, I'm saying, but uh, <laughs> Batista counts as a minority too. Oh, oh yeah, but I'm saying, but, but Batista already just said like he 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 wants to wait. I mean, he he want wait for what? Drax okay, is uh, done. No, here's the thing. Wow, yeah, he, he might and, be another person. I'm about know? to say <laughs> like he do not know. I didn't say that. It's just a very demanding uh, schedule. Uh, like, have you seen Batista like recently? No. This man got the whole. Beard out now. He got the Philly beard. Almost, but, oh. the, but it's gray and it's all gray. All it's gray. Not it's all gray it's now. All gray. Like, he's he every dropping bit some weight. Fifty five. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Like, he is smaller. He, 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 like he come up here, he wouldn't. Is. By say he, uh, he come up here, he wouldn't be safe. No. Somebody, somebody, all no easily. Philly auntie would easily. jump I'm on that man. Like, like, like Walter probably could be. You know, as I'm saying, look at that. Uh, but no, uh, no. But the reason why Batista said because he 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 was inducted in the class of 2020, mm-hmm. and there was no fans there. That's when he had the COVID, and he said you can't dub me when we get fans back. Okay. So they probably had a lineup, and he just said, but well, hasn't been able just to fit into any of the lineup now. He definitely like the Uncle somebody. Yeah. So. Is but he yeah, one of Great Khali and RVD? Oh, Dune. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, he, yeah he's doing. Dune. No, he was, he, he was in the class with the NWO. That, that 2020 uh, class. Uh, RVD and Great uh, Khali was 2021, and they combined them together, remember? <laughs> Brian, you remember? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. don't. Not done. Oh yeah, well, they, 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 you know, they, they, they gave these speaches. They gave these speeches in front of nobody, and then like, and it was acting like Hogan was acting like people was cheering. I'm like, bro, what are you? Doing? <laughs> so, it looks like now with the names that they, that they say, it doesn't look like we're going to get Bray Wyatt, and I'm fine, fine with that. Uh, I do think though now, now with them adding Muhammad Ali and Thunderbolt Pass, I think if they add, I think they're going to probably add a war if they're still doing the Warrior War. I'm not sure. But also, I think Ken Sharrock may be a name that they may just add to top it off. And since he's one of my favorites, I don't personally have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. I've heard that they're going to add um, The Rock's grandma. Yeah, uh, you know, it, 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 they're still talking about that because he's supposed to have influence over that. So we don't necessarily know. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about like, before it was like rumor. I'm talking about it, to the point where they're saying like it's all but confirmed, you know. 
Oh, you know how like they be like, oh, you know how they be like TMZ Japan and drop the stories. I think it's one of those type of things. Where it's like gotcha. it's kind of confirmed, but it's not like officially. I think because like I I literally I Google her name and uh-huh. went to the news section. And like two of the first four articles is like from like today or yesterday saying she's basically in the Hall of Fame. She's brought she's set to be announced. Oh, okay. Well then yeah. Now, real quick, did, who's inducting these people, right? I already had two people in mind for mm-hmm. Ali and uh Thunderbolt. Who? Billy Crystal. <laughs> you said Billy Crystal. Yes. For who? Ali. No, Why? I said, I said slide. Slide? I mean, okay. You we in Philly. And when I tell you this city, okay, let me not say that. There are some so people in this him. city that really, really love Rocky. Uh, like he is an actual person and an actual person from this city. So I could definitely see them bringing him out to do the induction for Muhammad Ali. They couldn't even pay this man to do Triple H's Terminator entry. You think they about to pay him? First of all, that's, that's, that's Arnold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wrong expendable. <laughs> First of all, that doesn't say Arnold Terminator. <laughs> You're talking about Rambo. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, remember the 1977 uh, Oscars? With that. Okay. No, not that no we I do not, actually. We were all still in our, <laughs> our daddy's ball sack. I mean, so, I'm going to say, but when, when, this is when Rocky first came out. And he was out there to present an award. And Muhammad Ali snuck up behind Sylvester Stallone. And he said, you stole my script. Because you know Apollo Creed is me. And that's what they did in the little shadow boxing on the stage. Right that day. There's a history there. Apollo Creed is Muhammad Again. Ali. Just Again. I, I agree with you. Yeah, I would say I, I could I, I see know, that happening. I don't it's, know why he said Billy Crystal. Especially since, I don't know why he said Billy Crystal. Oh, because that's his best friend. What? That's his best friend. That's what. What the hell that? I don't. I don't know when it happened. I just know it happened. Say, this is really giving just... Jerry Seinfeld and George Wallace. It, it, yeah, it is. It is. I'm about to say it's very like, random. It, I don't think Billy Crystal came to no nation of Islam means. Ayo, you, you know, really got a trip. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying. I mean, it might be uh, Layla. Well, no, she might be. Accepted. No, she probably well, accepted. She probably his wife. Accept it. His wife. They say his wife is going to accept it. Oh, um, okay. Well, who knows. Yeah, we don't. We'll see. Maybe it'll just be Triple H himself. <laughs> no. Uh, and then when it comes to Thunderbolt, I just think it's going to be Cody. Got to be. <laughs> My dad oh. used to talk about Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes well, I'm, I'm not, I'll be honest with you. Uh, they might have to uh, they might have to just send in the video. You got to chill out, bro. Like, <laughs> you got to How chill. is that going to work? You said, how's it going to uh, Somebody can send it for him, Brian. He could just be there. So I'm saying he could, he gonna send in the video though. Oh, you want him to collie it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, bro. How is he gonna get in the ring? Is what I'm saying. Look, no, he, he 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 he's not. He probably he probably won't do that. I'm saying, but probably maybe it'll just, well, it'll just Do we know if they're stage. doing it in the ring again? Yeah, because it's gonna be at the SmackDown. Because they, they have to do it now oh, because oh, oh, it's oh, a two oh. nights of WrestleMania. You have to do it now because usually it would the way it would have been was. The Hall of Fame would have been Saturday, Saturday night, and, then and, and, and NXT would have been Saturday. But now yeah. they got to do, they got to put that, that one night one of WrestleMania, so we got to push. So everything is pushed up and squished together. Yeah. In that, in the days got before. You. Yeah, unfortunately, so. Yeah, so I, I think Sylvester Stallone for more, for Ali and uh, Cody Cody Rhodes for. Because is anybody Pass. left that worked with him really? Ali or Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. No, only answer just died, and they wasn't gonna call him. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? Would you say, Prime? No, I was gonna say it might. Be. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. You right? You right? Yeah, no. Then I can uh, call Ric Flair. My bad. Er, er, no, <laughs> Ernie Lane. No, and nobody want to go over here and hear Tony Atlas ramble. No. So, with with, with the fucking sleeveless uh, with a sleeveless dress shirt, work shirt. Yeah. Put 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 the WD forty on arms. <laughs> That's. That's wild, bro. That's why that shit went to your brain. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, so no, I, I think, and like I said, Cody got the nice one, got the suits, he got, he, he know how to talk, so they go, let's just put Cody with that, I mean, you know. Do we? <laughs> hey, yo. How come they never I'm do the, the, um, 
memorial thing at like the Hall of Fame. Cause wrestlers be dying. Because even though they yeah. shit at the beginning of every episode, I guess. I, 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 you know, I was just wondering that. That's a decent question, though. I never thought about Like, you thought. do the Tim Bell salute, and then you just show all the people who died? Yeah, for the past year. Because yeah. sometimes, they went on the year, that could take 10 minutes. Damn. Well, it's like this. I, I'll probably this. This is, this is like the first Triple H Control Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. He may do that. I mean, no, I'm not saying that he will or should, or I was just... But Curious. It, I just thought that fe- that feels like a, a moment when you would do something like that. To be honest, though, when would you? St- when would it start? I mean, you would do it in the middle of the show, be like, you know, like a. No, no. I'm saying, when would the time start for that? Like, would it start 2023 <laughs> on to now? Or would it start? Like, yeah. So from the know. last, like they do for the auto yeah. war shows. So whoever died from the time they had the last Hall of Fame to this now. I mean, it'd be weird to start it now because you've never done it before. It'd be weird, but I just. Honestly, this thing about all the people who have died recently, like damn. Yeah, honestly, with Triple H taking the stuff over, what I would like for them to do is, I need the Hall of Fame to be its own thing. Just be Again. completely revamped, yeah. I, I, I hate the ring setup. I, I understand. Like the, I understand this what they have to do. It's not a but fan. But I, I hate the ring setup. I like it when it felt like an actual ceremony mm-hmm. when they had the red carpet out. Bryce actually had them loud ass suits. And all anything, that shit that, anything to be able for for him to be able to pull out them suits. When they used to interview them coming in with, with their actual spouse, and it, mm-hmm. it felt like the whole big Oscar night, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it had like that their feel red to carpet it. moment kind of thing. Exactly, and I, I like that. I used to love goes all fan and watching it and, they, and seeing people go go up there and take that. Now you got some wrong with the people up there, but I used to like when because sometimes they had to cut people inductions. Down, or they had to cut people who it's like only the big names get people against inducting them, mm-hmm. and I, I like that. Me personally, I, I like them. So I, I, I love when JBL inducted Ron Simmons. Mm-hmm. I love that. Was, that. that was nice. You know, yeah. I, I still had that. I'm like, yo, I will watch it over and over. That's one of the best. You know, he said, I don't need no damn paper to induct my best friend. Oh, <laughs> so you know, I, I, I like, I like when Vader inducted. Uh, what's the guy Prime don't like? Um, Hanson. Dan Hansen. And then I don't like him. I just, just like, well, okay. You, just. you don't remember what she, you, you won't record. You don't remember what you said. Jeez. He was just like, why did this motherfucker get up here talking oh, about this? I was oh. like, I wasn't going to say nothing no, bad about him. No, I didn't him. like his, I didn't like his speech. Yeah, that nigga talked like 35 minutes. Excuse my language. <laughs> Kill and Damn. Kill Billy Jim. Mr. T. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, Kill yeah. Yeah. Billy Jim had me sleep, yeah. bro. Bro. <laughs> why did I ain't work, play I him play off? Asleep. I was like, I was like, look, I, I appreciate the stories, but I'm just like, you are hillbilly Jim. I'm just like, I need you to. The thing is, I think they did play him off, and he just ignored it, and then. <laughs> you know, and then you Mr. Know, T and, and, and they, they had the valets, you know, the butler. I like when DDP came out there with all his diamond daughters. You know, what I'm saying? Oh I, I like God. that stuff. The ring thing just feels so. I don't like the setup. It feels weird. It feels just so wrestling show. I'm just like, come on, I like I like the ceremony part of it. And me personally, I was like, why don't you move it to Thursdays now? I mean, I think the reason why they did the ring is so that they can have the talent sit on the ramp. But you had the talent sit. They were sitting the, right in the front. In the front. Like if, on the, in the floor seats. See, honestly, the way I look at it is if you could do... Cause yeah, now but the, you people, do the people are watching the sh- the people are watching SmackDown. They want to stay sometimes, depending on who it is. If, they never get what they say. If it's the Hall of Fame and they say we're gonna do it on Thursday, mm-hmm. right now the only thing personal things happen on Thursday. Wally Man is happening on Thursday. Undertaker's one man show. Booker, uh, also, it's, it's oh, personal stuff. stuff. Well, but maybe if you, if you say, "Hey, Wells Fargo Center, Hall of Fame on Thursday," then you do SmackDown on Fridays because depending. On what this new deal is, if when Spider goes to USA, mm-hmm. we don't know what day it's going to land on. It can go back to Tuesday. It, well, can it, could, to- it could be a production cost thing because it's much easier to flip over the this ring into a makeshift stage than to have to break down a ring. Yeah. Or well, if you do it before you put the ring up, but um, having to break down a ring and then put all the seats out and all of that and put the stage back. It might just be easier to just do the ring, even though I it's not my favorite thing. I know, but those guys are going to Hall of Fame. I can't wait to see the Hall of Fame. I can't I, once again, you know, the how things go. Cause I think it should, I think it should really be a good ceremony. 